Jessica here. Welcome back for another Live from the Living Room workout. Today's routine is Dance Sculpt. Now we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. So I have a pair of hand weights close by. I'm gonna be working with five pounds. Feel free to grab whatever weight feels right for you. Lots of reps in this one. We're gonna do some low impact cardio today, some sculpting moves, and then at the end, some targeted abs moves using a chair or an ottoman if you have one in your house. So we're gonna start off just real easy, warming things up like we always do first. And you'll notice again, we're working barefoot. Now a couple of you have been asking me if this is really a good idea. And my answer is, it really depends on you. If you're not used to working barefoot or if you're on kind of an uncomfortable surface, feel free to keep your shoes on. This is really a personal choice, but working without the shoes really helps us engage a little bit more of the musculature in our feet. So enough talking. Let's get down to work, huh? Take this a little deeper, sit back into your hips, push off the floor, whether you're wearing those shoes or not. Good, now I want you to start to give me an arm raise. Take it up, take it down. Good. How's your day going today? I've had a good day so far. I hope you have too. Good, a little bit bigger. Really reach. Give me that high and low level here. Perfect. Now keep your feet apart. Just turn the hips. Using that floor. Good. Now we're going to bring one arm across. Abs in tight. Beautiful. So I want to see that rotation through the hips. And I want you to feel that rotation in the abs. Four more here. Three. Two. Good, now just give me a side to side again. A little wider with the feet if you can. Engage through the outside of those hips. Down and up, push. Beautiful. Let's add that arm raise again. Take it up. So connect the arm movement to the back muscles. Pull those shoulders down to your hips here. Use that floor. My heart rate's coming up, yours should be too. Take it to the twist, add the arm right away. Cross, abs in. Pick up that back heel as you're rotating. Really squeeze, beautiful. Now, just give me a march, take it in. Let the arms go, good. Now from here, we're just gonna do a little step tap, switch. Step tap front. Take it back. Good. So you're traveling, but you're not actually going anywhere, right? So let's take the arms and reach front as we push. Reach front, let them come down, abs in tight. Good. Just getting a little different view of the living room here. Four more. Good, three. Two more just like that. Last set. Beautiful, take it back and hold. March it out. Good, now let's just think of getting grounded. Down into the floor here. Give me a knee across here. Just let the arms go, bringing the back up tall. Abs are in tight. Beautiful, lift, lift. Start to engage those side obliques. You got it. Now, bring the elbow across. So it becomes more of a little crunch, but we still got that dance flair to it. Good. That's it. Now, let's take those arms up and around. Pull, pull. So I want you to keep this going, but start to push your hip front into that knee. More engagement through the abs here. Can you feel it? Good. So right about now, that body should be feeling nice and warm. Yeah? Eight more. Six. And four. Three. Two. Take it back to that dancey march. Good. Let it go. Nice. Now, I'm going to step out with that right foot. Step in. Step 
step. And one, two, one, two, three. Good. Change the weight. Rock it side to side. Good. Now, if you can, take it down. Low. So it kind of becomes a little squat as we push. Take it down. Up to three. Down. Up to three. Good. Still low impact. We're just coming up to the balls of the feet. Yes. Nice. Now, let's make this even dancier with a push. Take it away. Up. Good. Flex the palms of your hands. We're waking up the muscles in the wrists and the forearms. Four more here. Take it down. Up, up, up. Down. Last two. Good. Dancey march. Hold. Take a deep breath. Exhale, push. Do it again. Reach. Beautiful. Now, stay right here. Feet together. Sit back into your hips. So if you do yoga, similar to chair pose. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Get low. Good. Four more. Three more. Two more. Take it down. Hold it. Give me a pulse. Good. So a lot of movements in dance are using what we call a releve. And that's lifting the heels off the floor, right? So we're going to do a little releve here with some arm. So we take the arms forward. The arms are going to go back. We're going to lift the heels. Here, here. Let me turn to the side. So my back is straight. I'm pushing back. I'm lifting my heels. Now here's the deal. The heels don't have to come up as high as mine are. Just try to get them off the floor. Squeeze those inner thighs. We should be feeling this, yeah? Press. Beautiful. Oh boy. Four more here. Squeeze. Three. Two. One. Now hold. Stay and press. Work on that balance. Squeeze the knees. If you're close to a wall and you want to put your hand on it for balance, you can. Hold on. My legs are shaking too. Four. Three. Two. Hands on your thighs. Step out. Bring it in. Switch. Good. In. Now give me one and one. Take it out. Take it in. Now as you move your legs, start to open the chest. Out. In. So we're waking up the spine, tucking the tailbone under, and then arching the back. Side shot again. Here. Here. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Hold. Stay low. Good. Let your back round. Reach to the floor. Roll up. Slow. March it out. Okay. I think we are warmed up. I hope you are. I am. We're going to go find those dumbbells now. So remember, you choose the weight. And if you don't even want to use any weight, feel free to set them down. Just use your arms instead. You may decide to do that throughout the sets as we go. Just see what happens. Good. So remember that little rotating step tap we did earlier like this? Go back to that. Step tap and turn. Good. So we're going to add a little sculpt move. Curl. As you come to me, pull up. Turn the palms up. Pull. Pull. Good. The knees are soft. You're using the floor. Squeeze. That's it. Nice. Abs drawn in. Four. Three. Two more here. Last set. Hold and tap. Take it side. Good. Now our knees and toes are going to stay to the front in a wide stance. So I want you to take it out. Bend your knees. Sit back into your hips. We're going to reach down with the arms and come up with a flat back like this. You're here. Here. So I'm going to keep that little bounce of my legs. That's such a dirty word in fitness, but it's kind of what it is. More of a pulse. 
So we got a little deadlift, upright row. Back straight, abs in, shoulders, front of the chest, back of the legs, muscles that line the spine. That's everything that's engaging, yeah? Four more. Three, two. Now hold it here, turn your knees and toes out. Give me a wide plie. You may need to step your feet a little wider. Make sure your knees track right over your toes. Take your arms out. Hold. This is where it's going to get fun. I'm going to take the arms overhead in a ballet shape. Open back. Squeeze. Good. Keep the back lifted. Your hips should be right underneath your shoulders. You could do this standing against a wall because your booty's under you, not behind you. As you lift up, you can see the weights slightly in front of you, out of the corner of your eyes, not behind that head. Stay low. Oh yes, I'm feeling it too. Remember when I said high reps? This is what I was talking about. Give me four more. Up. Three, two, take it out to your hips, hold. Now let's get the inner thighs going. We're going to do a step and slide, right foot comes into the left. Step, switch, bring it up, good. Now we're going to use the arms, of course, into a front press, alternating. So when I go to my left, it's my left arm. Then my right. Rotate the palm. Get low in the middle. Squeeze as you lift up. Yes. That's it. Drop the hips right under your shoulders. Knees over those toes. Beautiful. Squeeze inside. We got eight more. Deep breaths. Six. Four more. Come on. You got it. Two more. Hold and tap. How are we doing? I need a second. How about you? So let's go back to the very first move. Do you even remember what it was? Me either. It's the step turning. The bicep curl. Remember? Coming back to me now. I swear that happens to me in class sometimes. I'm teaching a move and I'm like, what did I just do? And then I gotta come up with something else. So like I said before, these live sessions are all about being real. They're definitely not gonna be perfect. So thanks for your leniency and understanding. Four more here. Squeeze. Three, good. Two, when we do a real video, we practice and practice before we tape anything. Not here, take it side, hold. So next we had the deadlift with the little bounce, with the flat back up, that upright row. You ready? Hold it here, flat back, reach and pull up. Here, here, good. Now, it's really easy to shift your weight back into your heels, but I want you to think about imprinting your entire foot flat on the floor. All of your toes through the side of the foot and to the heel too. Keep the spine straight. Don't worry about looking up at me. Let your eyes go forward. Pull up. Good. Beautiful. Last eight. Squeeze, elbows lift. Six, four more. Last two. Hold it up, take it out, and plie. Turn the knees and toes out. So we get to go back to that ballet overhead raise. Are you ready? Yes, you are, okay. Open the arms out to the side. Now keep the elbows just slightly bent. Take it up, take it out. So what I tend to see is this, it's not as hard. So reach those arms, oh yeah. So I really want you to feel it. Even if you were just holding one pound dumbbells, pull down your sides. 
Good. Knees over the toes. Deep breaths. Beautiful. Good. Stay as low as you can. Up. Open the arms. Yes. Can we do eight more? Yes, we can, Jessica. I knew you'd say that. Six. Four more. Last two. Gorgeous. Take it in. Good news. We're going to set the weights down for a minute. So, we're going to go back to emphasizing a little cardio here. Okay? What I want you to do is stay with the right foot forward, and you're going to come towards me. Take it back. Start to use your arms. Start with a tap. Good. Drive the elbows. Now, give me a front passe. Up. Up. Abs tight. Work the arms. Good. Now, without adding a jump to make it harder, we can make this harder with the arms coming up a little higher, right? Now, one more option. Give me that releve as if you were going to jump, but you're not going to leave the floor with the ball of the foot. Unless you feel really energetic right now, by all means, hop it up if you want. Keep the abs in tight. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, stay tall. Three, two, hold. March it out. Stop the feet, let's switch legs. Step tap. I'm always so impressed with those instructors that can give you these tap combos so you're right on the other side. I'm gonna be totally honest. I don't always know how to do that. So thanks for bearing with me. Give me that tap, use your arms. Good. Give me a knee. I think that comes from step training. Amazed with step instructors. What an incredible technique and talent they have. Are we ready? Give me bigger arms. Good. Let that music start to move you. Nice. So if you want to, add that releve. Left. Left. Reach. Get taller. Here's our last eight. Six. Four more. Two more. Hold. Walk it out. Give me that dancey march. Perfect. Now, we're going to repeat something we did earlier. Step here. Uh-huh. Now, let's go ahead and go right into that full version. Get low. Use your arms. Good. Now, let's add in that little one, two, three step at the top. Remember this? One, two, one, two, three. That's it. Down, down, up, up, up. Keeping that level change. Give me eight more, real big. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold here. Walk it out. Time to go back to our weights. Are you ready? I know. Feels like we just set them down. Just take your dumbbells. So from here, we're gonna do a little side lunge and lift off combo. Also using the triceps. What the heck is that gonna be? Let me turn to the side so you can see it a little bit better. Your elbows are in. Put your weight in this back leg here. Point that toe. You're gonna extend your arms. Lift the leg. So a lot of balance. Work in the backs of the arms. 
reach. Now notice I'm not doing this with my arms. I want you to really keep your elbows in the same spot as you extend back. Now that leg does not have to go high, but I want you to feel the outside of your hip. Bring it up. Eight more, stay low. Final four, really squeeze. Ooh, feel that standing leg, two. Now hold the arms in front, tap just the ball of the foot. You're gonna turn your knee out and in. Abs in tight, you're gonna add a press. Here, here. Rotating the palms, opening the knee. Now, just in case you wanna make it harder, go to a passe. Ooh, lots of balance. If you need it, you can come back here, anytime. So even if you have your toe on the floor, open the knee using the hips and the glutes. Four more, standing tall. Ah. Three, it happens. Two, and one, you're not done yet. Take that right leg forward, get into a nice long lunge. So my back leg is straight, front knee is bent, abs are tight, flat back, your back arm is going to go forward, your front arm is going to the side, looks like this. Stay low, stay long, get that arm by the ear, front arm out to the side of the shoulder. Just eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Come up and breathe, march. Very good. Now, just give me a side to side while we get ready to do all that on the other leg. So we're going into that little side lunge stance, tricep extension, lift off with the leg, flat back forward, elbows in, here we go. Take it out to the side. Reach back with your arms. Focus your eyes on the floor. Find your balance. God, squeeze. Nice. So, I would rank this as sort of a moderate intensity day. We're not going too light. We're not going too hard either. But you should definitely be in work mode right now. I am definitely sweating up a storm. Squeeze back. Final four. Reach. Two. Woo! Come on up, face me. Just start with the leg. Turn it in, turn it out. So get centered on your standing leg. When you're ready, add the press. Make sure those palms are rotating. Remember, this is optional, but if you want to try it, go to that side passe. Try not to lean too far to the side as you open that knee. Yes, good. Can we do eight to finish? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Ooh, I almost lost it there. Step forward, long lunge. I'm turning side so you can see it. Back arm front, front arm side. Ready, go. The end of my back weight is up. Front arm, palm is down. Drop your eyes, chin is to the chest. Eight more. Six. Four. Three. Two, come on, last one, I'm feeling it too. Oh yes, come up. Get rid of those dumbbells. Beautiful. Great. So, it's hard to believe, 
but we are going to bring your heart rate up again, even though it's already still up. Use your side, give me a little pull. Take it up and over. The more we twist, the more we work the abs too. Now, if you can, get low. If you're not ready for that, stay with that basic tap. So we are working down to get the heart rate up. Keep it simple, keep it strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold, tap, breathe. Great job. Now, give me a front, back, front, back. Easy. We're gonna take the arms, Sweep in a little figure eight pattern. Nice and big. I want you to think flamenco. You know those dancers that have those beautiful dresses and they're swooshing them everywhere as they move? You have a beautiful colorful dress on right now. Swish it side to side. Rock that weight. Good. Now again, get low to get a little bit more out of it. If you want. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Switch. Good. So let's just get the feet going. Tap and change. Bring it front. Threw a little tap in there, did you catch it? <laughs> okay, add the arms. I try. We gotta be able to laugh at ourselves, right? It's all about having a good time. Not too serious. Good, come on, use that dress. Shift that way. Front and back. If you're looking for more, take it low. Open the chest to the top. Yes. Lift. Good. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. March and hold. Good. Doing so great. So great, and it's time to go back to these guys. Oh boy, walk it out. Now we're gonna come back to the feet together, to that little chair pose position from before. So I want you to sit back in your hips, pulse. Do you remember these from the warm up? You swept your arms back and you lifted your heels. It's even more fun with dumbbells. Turning to the side so you can see it. Here we go, push, press. Keep your spine straight, your abs tight. If it's too difficult or something hurts, don't lift your heels. We want it to be hard, but not straining on the body. Squeeze your inner thighs, keep your knees closed. Squeeze, yes, good. Stay with me. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it up, tap, just the feet. Now, open your arms to a letter V. With your tap, you're gonna reach behind your head as if you were trying to cut your hair. Shave the head with the backs of your dumbbells. Chin to the chest, relax your neck. If you wanna make it harder, brush that leg. Abs in tight. Double duty for the triceps after that last move. 
squeeze, push back to your V. Shoulders are working too. I know you know that. I need four more. Two more. Great job. Now, from here, bring your palms down. You're gonna give me a scoop, front and down. Keep your inner thighs squeezing. Keep your abs tight. Turn your toes out. Hold. My knees are bent. Now, if you want, add a plie deeper as you reach front, zip the backs of the legs. So my arms are extended but my elbows are not locked. Turn the palms up, lift with the chest, front of the shoulders. Yeah. So this gives our Achilles and our calves a little stretch before we go back to that releve chair pose. Because we are going to go back to it. You know it. Four more. Two more. Now, hold your stretch elbows in. Pulse. Good. Now, this is more about the back. You're going to reach your arms out to the side. Squeeze in. So I don't care if the arms don't go all the way straight. Focus on the sides of the back as your elbows come in. Keep that plie. Guess what, I've got my biceps too. Use the side. So I'm kind of making a letter W and then back to a V. Whew, my heart rate's up. Four. I know you can hear my breathing in the mic, I'm sorry. Two, hold, turn it back parallel. Ah, oh, hello, upper body. Are we ready? So go back to that chair pose releve. Tricep press back. All those muscles working at once. Yeah, here we go, hold the bottom. Take it back. Now when you're balancing, if you can find a focus point for your eyes, it makes life easier. Don't try to look up and all around. Focus down. Drop your booty. Push to the backs of the arms. Try that heel lift if you feel comfortable, but you don't have to. Oh yeah. Squeeze. Last four. We love it. Three, you came here voluntarily, remember that. Come on up, tap. <sighs> Just breathe. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the V. The tricep, shave the back of the head. Arms up, here we go. Drop the chin to the chest. If you want to, try that brush. Palms face forward. Yeah, good. Squeeze. Four more. Last one. Bring your arms down. Now, chest lift. So you're gonna keep engaging through the inner thighs as you turn your knees open. Yeah, add the plie. Straighten the legs all the way up. Think about zipping the backs of your knees together. Woo, yes. Keep your back up tall. Don't let your hips go behind you on this one. It's not a squat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and plie. Stretch. Good. Elbows in. Take it to your W. Pull in. Pull. So focus on the sides of the torso, 
sides of the back. Almost done. Last one. Oh boy, I'm so ready to get rid of those dumbbells. How about you? Shake your arms out. How are they feeling? Good? So if you need a water break at any time or you need a towel off, you can take it. I'm staying with you the whole time. So, we're gonna do a little circle of the knee and around. Going back to getting the heart rate up. Work in the core. Yeah. So it's a little circle. Comes around, open it down. Now, stay low. Keep the circle going. Just use the arms. Feels kind of funny. Like you're pushing through mud. Little climber. And that standing leg is saying howdy doody. Four more. Two more. Now here comes the cardio part. Knee goes straight up, arms pump. You knew that was coming in. Bigger arms make it harder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo! Yeah, right here. Yeah, all right. Just the knee. So starting a little easier. Kind of feels different from one leg to the other. Totally normal. Take it down a little more. Use the hips and the glutes. I call this that bikini line. You're working all the muscles that line where your bikini should hit, right? Unless you're a thong type of person. Can't help you there. Squeeze. No judgments. Now stay low. Keep it going. Circle. Circle. Use the arms. Out and around. Swim, crawl, whatever it takes. That's it. Up. Good. Are we ready? Take it to that knee pump. Front, back. So now it's straight on. Parallel. Bend that standing knee. Bigger arms if you want to make it harder. Stay low. We love it. Remember how awesome we feel when we're done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake out the hands. Even though the arms aren't tired anymore. Just let them go. March. Okay, so I didn't stop, but with the magic of editing, I had my stool or chair up here. So we're gonna move on back to our weights into some more core work. So you wanna pull out a chair, or if you have an ottoman, that will work for this too. You just wanna make sure it's sturdy so it doesn't move on you. If it has a back, that's totally fine too. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells again, and we're gonna work the chest and the abs. So I want you to sit, kind of on the edge of it with your heels lifted. Oh, mine's not too sturdy. Squeeze the inner thighs, palms down. Hinge yourself back as far as you can keeping the abs engaged. Don't do this. Open the chest, point those toes, give me a scoop up. So this is gonna get the lower part of the chest all the way up into the cleavage line. We really like to work that, right? Squeeze. Good. So your back is like a car seat that's been reclined, hasn't changed shape, 
It's just moved back. Now let's try eight with the arms together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Keep the weights. Sit up. Lift your feet. Now if you're on a chair, you might have to keep your toes down. You're going to give me a little twist. Twist. Keep the weights right in front of your shoulders. If this bothers you back at all, you can set the dumbbells down. Just cross your arms over your chest. So if you try that lean back, you're here. A little harder. Good. Now let's go from one side to the other. One, two. One, two. Try not to collapse into the back. Turn the shoulders. Squeeze. two, and one. Beautiful. Come on up. Set one weight down. Turn around so that you're facing that chair. If you can, place your hand and your knee on top of it. If you have a back of your chair, you might have to put your hand up. Now, we're going to do a palm up row for the back. So you're going to squeeze here. Wrap that shoulder blade back behind you. So I'm kind of letting that front shoulder open a bit. Keeping my standing knee soft. Squeeze. Good. We're going to add on to this. Don't worry. You were thinking it was a little easy. Give me four more basic. Two more. Now we're going to add a little press at the top. Watch it once. One, two, three, four. Pull. Press, then lower. See if you can look up to your hand. If that makes you dizzy, don't do it. You can look straight ahead here as well. But I want you to be feeling this through that top side of the body. So we still have the back row. Press and rotate. Press the palm straight up to the ceiling. We got five more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Great job. Now let's quickly switch sides. Just the basic row first. Palm front, abs tight. Make sure your back is flat. Ready, just that row. Pull. Palm up. Are you as sweaty as me? Please be. <laughs> Don't make me be the only one sweating. My favorite is my mom tells me she watches my workout DVDs on the couch. And she just yells at me because she's like, she's not going to do it. I love her. She loves when we work out together. Palm up. Let's do four more, then we're going to add that press up. Four, three, two, ready, take it up. One, two, three, four. Remember, if you get dizzy, don't look up. Abs are engaged. So imagine you're wearing your tightest belt around your waist. Everything is real pulled in. Final four. Here we go. Last two. One more. Great job. Now, before we go back, move this out of the way. I'm going to do a little standing work for the glutes and the abs. Keep a hold of that light weight. So you're going to lift the leg behind you. Just a little pulse. Reach. Bend your standing knee. 
Take the arms up, up, pull in. Extend, squeeze the abs to lift the knee. Reach back, up. Inhale as you reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale. Exhale, make your body as long as you can as you extend. Pull in through your core. Four more. Two more. Last one. Now, turning to the side so you can see it, reach it out to the side. Opposite arm takes that weight. Knee crunch. Tap the floor, or if you can, balance. Palm in. Still working the shoulders, why not? Okay, I think I might need to go back to that tab. Here, here. Draw in. Switch legs, grab that weight. Take it back. How are we doing? We're in the home stretch. Take a deep breath. Get ready. Stand up slow. Inhale. Exhale. says we have to work the abs lying down. Inhale, exhale. Let your back extend a little bit as you reach. We're doing four more. Two more. Last one. Open to the side. Pulse, get ready, reach, knee to your elbow, tap it, or you can try that balance, or you can do both. Eight more. Okay, let's get out the chair. Again, the legs could use a little seat. Let's come back to the chest and the abs, and then the back and the sides. So lift the heels. Think of that chart. Car seat, hinge back, alternate it back arm first. Scoop. Imagine you're presenting that weight to someone that you want to give it to. Keep the back tall, abs engaged. Can we do both arms? Give me eight. Four. Bring it in, twist. So remember your different versions. Depending on what you're sitting on, you might need to change it a little bit. If you can, lean a little further back. We're gonna go into those single twists in a second. Ready? One and one. Float it if you can with that bottom foot. A little harder. Four, three, two, we did it. Come on up, set one way down. We gotta go back to the back. Turn it around, 
Let's start on the other side first. Just for the heck of it, let's mix it up. Ready? Palm up, basic row. So we're doing more for the row because it's for the back, which is a bigger muscle group. Even though we continue to work the back on that twist. Eight more and then we add that rotation press. Soft supporting elbow. Get ready. Add the press up. One, two, three, four. Pull, push, in, down. Eyes are up or straight ahead. Do what feels best for you. Here's our last four. Three, two, one more. Come on up now, quickly switch, other side. Ready, flat back, just the row to start. I'm so glad you could join me today for a workout. It's always more fun when you have a workout partner, isn't it? You help me stay motivated, that's for sure. I don't think I could do all this on my own. So thanks for joining me today. Four more, then we add that push. Four, three, two, take it up to the ceiling. I'll tell you, it's harder this way than teaching a class though, for sure, because in my class, I get to show the move and then walk around correcting people. Not now. You mean you expect me to do the workout too? What's that about? Five. Four. Three. Two more. Here's our last one. <sighs> Great job. Push that out of the way. Or if you have more space, you can keep it where it is. Let's start off with that leg behind. Squeeze. Extend and bend. So right here, you're engaging your abs. Lift them in. Push your shoulders down. Slow extension up. Exhale, pull. Inhale. Pull it in. Work that balance. A little bigger than before. Last four, let's do this. Two. One more. You can stay there, but open your leg out to the side. Pulse, reach, get ready. Elbow to knee with or without that tap. Pull in. Four, three, two, last one. Switch sides, pulse. Find your center, bend that standing knee. Take a deep breath, reach up. Here we go, in. Exhale, inhale. Get real focused, real zen. You can do anything for just a few minutes at a time, right? Here's your last four. Two. 
two. One more time. Take it out to the side, pulse. Ready? goodness we made it to the cool down zone perfect timing so I think we worked a little bit of everything today hopefully you're feeling good you're feeling worked out but you still have some energy left don't want you to be totally wiped out just give me a nice easy side to side let it go good so keep your chair close because we're gonna use it for a couple of our stretches in a moment now from here, take a lunge so that we can stretch your inner thigh. Hands on top of that opposite leg, flat back. Really feel that stretch right here. Good, now turn into it. Press the hip forward, but this time push your heel down so it's still on the inner thigh, all the way up into where it gets into the hip. Good, now let's take this back hand on the leg. Take a little stretch. If your front knee's bothering you, you can extend your legs. Take the elbow to the thigh, stretch over here. Look up or straight ahead. Press back up, turn to center, other way. Turn into the leg, keep your back heel down. Right here. Reach up and back. Elbow to the thigh. Look up or straight ahead. Keep the elbow pressing into the thigh, thigh pressing into the elbow. Extend both legs, knees and toes, feet as front, hands at your hips. Now pull back, give me a little arc. Hinge forward from your hips. Keep that slight arch, soften your knees. Let your chest round forward. Extend the arms behind your back. Open across the front of the body and the shoulders. Release your hands, bring them to your thighs. Roll up slowly through your spine. Let's find your chair again. Have a seat. Just cross one leg over top of the other, keeping the knee out to the side. Use your body weight. Oh, that feels good. Help open the outside of that hip. Now we're gonna stack the knees. Use our opposite hand to push into the leg and twist the spine. Lift tall, look all the way back behind you. Take it center, uncross, let's switch. Knee open side. Just go as far as you can until you feel that stretch. Hold it there. Cross the knees. Well, look who it is. Sit up tall. I'm not kidding. You just show up at the end of every workout, don't you? Like you've been sweating the whole time with us. Come back to the center. Good. Just stack. Uncross the legs. Let's take a stretch to the side. Don't try to give me kisses now. I know that you didn't work out with me. You're not going to get any credit. Other side, reach. Good, now let's just get the triceps. Chin to the chest. Switch arms. Hands on top of your thighs. Just take a couple shoulder rolls. Squeeze up, release back. So any tension that's been staying in your neck or your shoulders, reverse it, let it go. Good. Now you stay facing me, I'm gonna turn to the back so you can see this one a little bit better. I want you to take one arm behind you and grab a hold of your forearm with your opposite hand. Pull that arm up and across. So I feel this in the front of my shoulder. 
again, if anything ever hurts, don't do it. Listen to your body. Switch, cross, lift. So I'm thinking of lifting up and across my back. Opening the shoulders in the front. Now go ahead and see if you can grab a hold of your opposite elbows with your hands. Stay sitting up tall. And if you want a little more, you can try to bring the palms together and up a little higher. Now I am much tighter on my right shoulder than my left. So I'm really feeling this on my right side, not so much on my left, which may be the case for you too. Again, if it hurts, don't do it. Keep your hands lower if you want. Good, I'm turning back around. <laughs> Take the hands out in front of you, round, separate your shoulder blades, drop your chin to your chest. Take a deep breath. Release. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you at our next workout. Right, Peanut? Say thanks.